Good evening. One day is Thursday, November 15, 2018. Your update for Friday, the 16th. All right, let's go. Well, not much report in the portfolio. If you get a chance, and I should have it up either tonight or early tomorrow, take a look at the weekend charts from today. And, and it's another one of those don't rub salt, or I don't mean to rub salt in the wounds type of thing, but I talked a little bit about discretion with the NTAP trade, obviously, uh, today. Sticking with trades like that to just kind of run up and nick the stop. That's going to be incredibly important on the short, shot, short side, he tried to say, should this overall slide continue? A lot of S's in that sentence. Uh, as far as setups, no setups, but this one continues to catch my eye. I'd actually like a little bit more pullback, but look at the volume, really thin today on that one. So spreads could get a little wide, obviously, when volume gets thin like that. So use a lot of caution should you decide to go after it. I think right now the best action is no action. When I'm going through my charts and I can't find anything to get excited about, that's usually a signal for me to say, Dave, tap the brakes, relax, see what you have left over your portfolio, manage that, and then wait for another day. There will be opportunities down the road. Today is just not one of those days, or tomorrow will not be one of those days where there will be a lot of new opportunities. Anyway, let's take a look at the, well, let's take a look at GS, GH first, and then we'll take a look at the overall market. GH up a smidgen here, just kind of hanging in there. These IPOs, if they could just make it to new highs, then they're, a lot of times it's uh, off to the races. But obviously, we're not quite there yet on that one. Let's take a look at the overall market. A few things to report tonight, but nothing nothing uh, earth-shattering, I should say. Let's take a look at these MIGs, if I can get them up. Let's start with the P's and then work our way out. First of all, S&P 500. Okay, P's gapping lower a little bit or lapping lower. Selling off a little bit in here, but reversing the close fairly well by the end of the day and actually up a percent on today. Still looks like there could be a lot of trouble. I think 2600 is going to be an inflection point. 2800 and change, about 28, eh, 25 or so. These prior peaks in here would be your top side inflection point. I wouldn't get too excited one way or the other. So far, the longer term, it sure looks like they could be in the early phases of being in a lot of trouble especially obviously if the bottom of the range gets taken out that would be around 7,069 and change for the nasdaq nasdaq had a decent day after all was said and done a little bit of a opening lap there a little bit of a sell-off by the end of the day closing well and in the plus column and finally the rusty let's take a look at it as you can see a little bit of a opening gap reversal opening lap reversal there too, up about a percent and a half. Back the chart out a little bit or a lot of bit. And as you see, it still looks like it's in trouble in here. But now that we're getting stuck in a range, we probably won't see a lot of setup. So we just have to sit tight for now. As you would imagine, most sectors sort of look like the market itself. Big slides followed by retraces. Really nothing much to get too excited about. One thing concerns me is that some of these areas are getting a little choppy and kind of all over the place in here. And that's probably why we're not seeing a whole lot of setups as of late so i think now's the time to just sit tight as i preach i wish i would have known many many years ago that sometimes you just have to sit and wait it out somebody was saying the transports look good i don't get it uh sharp thrust down followed by a retrace they don't look so hot <laughs> so it's like everybody's trying to make something happen good in this market and it's just it's just not happening from where i said anyway i think that pretty much sums it up in general i think everything's still in a little bit of a trouble here a little bit of trouble and longer term we could see some signals triggering such as weekly bow ties and things like that if you get a chance watch the weekend charts and again it should be up in a little while tonight on youtube and then at the latest on my website tomorrow everybody have a fantastic night any questions you're routine david dave we'll talk to you tomorrow if not sooner thanks so much